In this video, we'll look at how to describe the vertical layout of your app for the KeyGuard designer. Primarily, we're going to look at how in the world do you fill in this section right here. So the designer has a relatively simplistic view of apps, of the typical grid style apps. And it's attempting to cover all, com all combinations of layouts with, uh, these, con with these terms here. Uh, that there's a region of the app that is associated with the status bar, a region that is below the status bar, which is arbitrarily called upper message bar, even though it may not be a message bar, it may be something else. A uh, region below that called the upper command bar. And again, it's just a name, though often it applies. Below that is a grid of tiles. Below that, there may or may not be a lower message bar, and it may not even be a message bar. And below that, a lower command bar. But these are just, what, six uh, regions of the app vertically. And we'll use those to tell the uh, designer how to lay out uh, the, the app and especially where is the grid of tiles on that. Well, how much space is allowed for the tiles. So I'll just point out that, that you can uh, assign names to these uh, dividers here. So there's this, this line up here that is basically the very top of your app, um, which doesn't itself have a name. Then the status bar and th this line, or this, this uh, divider here, it would be the bottom of the status bar. Similarly, this is the bottom of the upper message bar and the bottom of the upper command bar. You're seeing the same terminology used in the designer down here. Then there's that grid of tiles. And then uh, there's a, uh, a divider here called the top of the lower message bar. And similarly, the top of the lower command bar. So determining where those things are and providing that information to the designer helps it lay out uh, the key guard. And then what, what are these points up here and this point down here? Well, when you're, measure, when you're counting pixels in a screenshot uh, and you're using Microsoft Paint, um, the numbers increase as you move down the image. So the very top of your image is location zero. And the very bottom of the image is, well, however many pixels there are vertically in the uh, app as it's displayed on that tablet. Uh, and if I look in Microsoft Paint, this is a, a, a little piece of a Microsoft Paint image here. The number of pixels in the image from left to right and top to bottom are displayed here in the center of this bottom status bar in Microsoft Paint. And it's uh, 200 and, let me see, 2,266 pixels wide, 1,488 pixels high or tall. Uh, the second number represents the number of vertical pixels. So if this is zero up here, and uh, then when I measure where I, what, pic, what pixel count is down here, it's the total vertical number of pixels. So this point here is 1488 uh, for this particular um, screenshot from, in this case, an iPad 10, because this is the uh, screen resolution or, or capacity for an iPad 10. So how do you use these regions? How do you map those regions to your app? Well, Touch Chat, for example, actually does have a status bar up here at the top. It's where you see your, your battery uh, charge level. Um, and so this amount of space is roughly the amount of vertical space dedicated to a status bar. And then below that, there's a, another region devoted to the message bar. And 
the uh, below that there's a command bar so these are roughly the regions associated with or the amounts of the uh, touch chat app that are associated with those top three regions then you see the grid region then well there is no lower message bar and there is no lower command bar so those things just kind of um, they collapse into this basically this bottom line there's really nothing not, nothing of them there and um, you'll you'll determine things like what is the top of the lower message bar well it's just this bottom line what's the top of the lower command bar it's this bottom line or it's this point uh, when counting and me measuring the number of pixels how about go talk now it's sort of the reverse of that there is no status bar there is no me upper message bar there is no upper command bar so the bottoms of those regions they're all right here which is zero when measuring the number of pixels vertically in a screenshot then uh, roughly in this region is a lower message bar and you have to just kind of eyeball uh, where does the message region start versus the grid of tiles and similarly though there is a little it's a little clearer where the lower command bar begins um, so the top of it is right in this region here and I'll say that for the purpose of creating a key guard you don't have to be exact but it helps to be close and then again this line here the bottom of the lower command bar for which there's no entry directly into the um, into the uh, designer well that's however many pixels high this go talk now images proloquo to go um, so again we have an upper message upper status bar an upper message bar and an upper command bar but then we've also got some stuff down here too more commandy kind of things um, but remember I said that you know these names they're just placeholders you may actually have some other function going on in that region so um, I'm just going to arbitrarily say that this region right here is the lower message bar and I want to account for this space so this is an iPad 10 image and so this is a way to um, invoke uh, going to the home is the same as a home button on an iPad 10 by pressing this bar here um, but I'm just going to say that space I'm going to account for it in the height of the app uh, and I'm just going to call that a lower command bar so these are arbitrary names used for these regions and we're going to look here in a moment at um, at Microsoft Paint and we're going to use Paint to take these these measurements and put them into the customizer of the of the keyguard designer and I just want to point out that when using Microsoft Paint if you look in the lower left hand corner of the screen you'll see uh, it will reflect wherever your cursor is on the screen it will reflect what the coordinates are for that for that location and when we're measuring the vertical number of pixels um, moving down uh, through the screenshot we really only care about the second number which is the y coordinate and I recently discovered this cursor format here which is crosshairs and uh, you can get that at least on a Windows machine by downloading and installing the Microsoft Power Toys from Microsoft and they have a, a feature of those Power Toys called mouse pointer crosshairs uh, we'll see how, how handy that is here in a moment for taking these measurements uh, software is all free in fact it, I believe this is going to be coming to uh, Windows as a built-in feature that you should you won't necessarily have to download Microsoft Power Toys to get it but you uh, just invoke this with a uh, shortcut uh, key a keyboard shortcut and we'll see that in action too so we'll use this 
uh, Prolo Cortigo screenshot uh, as an example of how he would take these measurements and enter them into the, uh, the customizer, customizer region here of the Keyguard Designer, specifically this section here. We're going to measure the app layout in pixels rather than in millimeters. And why use pixels rather than millimeters? Well, because that way I don't have to get a ruler out. But also, um, there are often about 10 pixels for every millimeter of screen. Uh, so I can get much more accurate measurements using pixels than I can uh, just by getting a ruler out and trying to measure things in millimeters. So I'm going to open this in open with Microsoft Paint. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so we can see all elements here. Can't see the bottom of the screen yet, but we'll scroll down to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke those crosshairs in uh, Power Toys by pressing Window Alt P for Paul. This helps me visualize where uh, a region should uh, stop when it's hard to tell. There's there's nothing in the app itself um, giving me any information about where the uh, where the message bar is versus the status bar. There. It's just white all the way through. It can be helpful to have actual text in the message bar uh, when you're doing this so that you're sure you're not going to be covering up uh, any important regions of the message bar based on uh, what you, you set here for these values. So I'll begin. And remember, we're going to look down in this lower corner here for the second number. So I'm going to uh, first try to measure the uh, guess at where the status bar ends and the message bar begins. And I'll just guess uh, that looks, you know, just guessing here. I'm going to guess that it's it's about there. It gives me as much space above the delete key as below the delete key. And that's 48 pixels. And I'm going to write that down. And then what is the bottom of the message bar? Well, it's right around in there somewhere. That's about... 218 pixels. What's the bottom of the upper command bar? Well, somewhere right about in there. So 303, 303 pixels. I'll scroll down. What's the bottom of the grid, which is the same as the top of the lower message bar? Remember that name is just an arbitrary name. Uh, I'm going to say it's right around there, so um, uh, we'll just say roughly 15, uh, 1,513 pixels. And now I want to I want to divide this region up. It's again hard to do because it's just black black background. But let's try to put as much space below these icons as above them. And read that as, oh, I don't know, let's say 1604, maybe 1603. So I'm a little lower than 1604. And then what's the total height of the screen? Well, it says right down here, 1640. The, the designer knows how big a screen is for an iPad 10, so I don't have to tell it that. All right, so with those ideas, those numbers in mind, let's fill in this. We'll start, by the way, with telling the, turn this, uh, turn the crosshairs off. We don't need them anymore. So we'll tell the designer what the, what type of iPad we're dealing with here. We're dealing with an iPad 10th gen. And now we'll begin filling this, this section in here. Uh, we said the bottom of the status bar was 48. 48, enter. And I'm not going to worry about what it looks like here until I've got all the numbers in. Then bottom of the upper message bar, 218. Bottom of the upper command bar, 303, enter. And these numbers are going to be different for every, for every uh, app. 
on on the iPad 10 and um, certainly different for different tablets. Then the uh, top of the lower message bar, which also just happens to be the the bottom of the grid, is 15, 13, and finally the top of the lower lower command bar is 1603. Again, don't worry about what it looks like until we at least get the last number in. And then things will start to make more sense. So that's the app's layout. We now determine which, uh, which uh, regions we want to expose. In, um, in touch chat, we'd want to expose the upper message bar. We may or may not want to expose the upper command bar, uh, but we'll expose it here just so we get a, oh, sorry, this is touch chat. This is protocol to go. So we say we expose these, these, both of these regions, and then we want to also expose the lower message bar, which actually has those, those special commands. Um, one of the nice things about having two regions down here is I can add a slope into that, um, into that region, make it more accessible. I'm going to just drop this down to about 60 degrees. And now I have, uh, much more easy access to that, those commands down there. And that's all there is to laying out your app in pixels.